In this video, we're going to talk about doing a voice narrated PowerPoint, creating a video out of that, and then uploading it into YouTube, and then inserting it onto a website in Google. All right, so first thing I do is I have my spreadsheet open to the dashboard, and I am going to take a image of the dashboard by doing function print screen. Now, once I have that, I can now go to PowerPoint. Okay, so I'm in PowerPoint, and now I'm going to paste that into PowerPoint. I've got a lot of extra screen here that I really don't want to show, so I'm going to go into Format, and under Format, I'll be able to take and use the cropping so I'm going to crop the extra off of this. Okay, there, crop. And once I've got the crop selected, I can take and get rid of this extra. Okay. And I'm going to hit crop again, and now it took away the extra screen. I can now resize it and put it onto my screen so that it looks a whole lot better. So that gives me my dashboard. Now, I have my first slide. I need three, so I'm going to insert two more slides. On the other two slides, what you can put are anything you choose to talk about on the dashboard project. So you may have a particular um, chart that you did that you thought were particularly interesting, one that you really struggled with, something you learned that you think would be helpful to your classmates. It's your choice on what you put on to the other two slides. Now, I'm going to pick a chart back, so I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. And I'm going to select this trend chart right here that has past sales trends. And I'm copying it. And I'm going to put it onto one of the other slides in my PowerPoint. So on this one, I'm going to paste this chart. And this would give me a nice trend analysis here that I could talk about in this voice narrated PowerPoint. And then on slide three, I could pick something else that I could either have another chart or words or some particular feature that I wanted to talk about, whether it was slicer or macros, uh, something I learned from that, or so, again, something that would be interesting to your classmates. So this is slide three. All right, so I have all three slides done, and now I want to do my narration. Click on Slideshow. In the middle is Record Slideshow. I'm going to start recording. And you can see there's a little uh, recording box up here that keeps time. Three minutes, so approximately a minute a slide. Or you can do more on one, less on another, as long as it's three minutes or a little longer. All right, so I'm going to talk, kind of summarize the dashboard project and what I thought about it and what I found most interesting, least interesting, what surprised me. Those kinds of things are what you can talk about. I'm going to go to the next slide. I'm going to talk about this trend analysis. Um, you know, did I find it useful? What, did I, what were the results I found? Um, do I think this is one of the more useful charts? How would a business use this type of trend, trend analysis? And then the last slide that whatever I put on again, that's your choice of something interesting you found in your dashboard or the features in your dashboard that you used. Once I've went through all three slides, I have three minutes or more of narration. I'll end my presentation, and I now have sound, as you can see by this little um, speaker here with sound coming out, that they all three have sound on them. Now, if I played back the PowerPoint, you would hear the sound, but YouTube will not allow you to upload a PowerPoint presentation. So you have to turn it into a video to be able to upload it into you know, YouTube. So you go to File, Save As, Browse, take the arrow down, and you can do either the MPEG 
for video are Windows Media Video. Um, Windows Media Video is in the, some of the older versions, but you do have the MPEG4 video, which is a nice um, one to have in the newest version, 2013. But either one will work. Save it as a video. You'll see down here that it'll start saving, and when this finishes, it'll, the little bar will go all the way across. All right, so while that's saving, I'm going to go ahead and pull up YouTube. So I'm going to Google, and I'm going to YouTube. And now I can upload my video once it's finished. So I'm going to select my um, video that I've created. And if I go down and find my video right here, and click open you'll see that it is now uploading my video okay i am going to put a tag because it makes it easier for me to find it if i'm searching and one thing i do want to mention about the privacy settings if you keep it public anybody can find it anybody can see it if you don't want anybody but me and your classmates to see it you can put it on unlisted not private Okay, so put it on unlisted. If you put it on private, I will not be able to see it, your classmates will not be able to see it, and you will not get credit for it. So public is the safest, but if you don't want the general public to see it, put it unlisted, and then you can put the link into Google, and it will show the video without other people be able, being able to find it. All right, so I have mine on unlisted. And it's uploading right now as we speak. Once it finishes uploading, you'll, it will give us this link will be ready to be viewed. But while it's doing that, I can go ahead and get the link ready. So I am going to save this link right here because now I'm going to take this link right here and put it into my dashboard so that my video will be embedded onto the website. So this is my home page right here on my website. I'm going to edit the page. All right, the page is edited. And now I'm going to insert the YouTube video by insert. And then I'm going to go down here to where it says video, YouTube. And I put in this um, link right here. Okay, we'll leave the defaults on everything else. This is showing me that it's there. And now when I hit save, it will bring up my video. Okay, so this has my YouTube video now embedded into the page. And it's saying it's unavailable because I think it's probably not quite finished uploading but it should be ready in just a couple of seconds because it's 95% complete. All right, but that will be the link to it. All right, so while that's finishing up, I have it embedded and I'm waiting on that. Okay, the other thing that you need to do is attach a PDF to your web page. All right, so let's go ahead and we need to make sure that attachment is an option that we can put onto our um, web page. All right, so I'm going to go ahead on here and I'm going to go to my more and I'm going to go on to um, page settings. Okay, and where it says allow attachments, I'm going to check that little box and I'm going to hit save. Now that's going to allow me to add files to this particular page. So I can now click on add and I'm going to go down the page and find my PDF. Okay, and there it is right there. And so now I'm uploading the PDF 
to my website. Okay, so I have my YouTube video and my PDF attached. I'm going to check my, okay, and so my video is 100% complete. So now when I play it, I should have the video that I just created on there. And I do. All right, so I have a um, embedded a voice narrated PowerPoint that I turned into a video onto the web page and attached a PDF to the web page. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording, and then you'll also need to watch the video for creating the. Um, data collection web page.